least. Boots down on it. You can take and grab a hold of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think there should be one on each side. That's good. That's kind of lucky. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, you got a lot of spare pieces over the titles and stuff, you know? Yeah. And, uh,. Pulling the head off for the first time on the left side, and yeesh. Taking the cylinders off here, you can see the cylinder walls don't look bad at all. Welcome to the channel. So some of you may know this, but I purchased a 1977 BMW R100 RS. So. It's a pretty sweet bike. Um, all the numbers match and stuff. Um, pretty high mileage. I think it has 90, 96,101 miles. I just actually picked this bike up at 9 a.m. this morning and it hasn't even been a full day yet and I got it all torn apart already. So all the fairings and everything are all taken off. Engines all taken apart and stuff. Um, but anyway, so this is going to be kind of like a little restoration project. Um, I'll tell you guys kind of how I got the bike and had a little interesting story behind it. The owner of the bike actually worked at a BMW dealership and he was the first owner of this bike. Um, he bought it from the dealership he worked at in 1977 up in Duluth, I think is what he was saying. And... He also gave me a pile of these new old stock parts. I mean, some of this stuff's used, this is used, this is pretty much brand new. I have fork legs, heads, cylinder, kind of rough condition, but all sorts of stuff. I got three seats for it, um, front cover, an oil pan, cylinder head. I got a whole engine down here which is in kind of rough condition, but uh, a brand new, I got a brand new Lester wheel right there, never been installed. It's brand new, brand new. Um, that's the wheel off the bike. This is the gas tank off the bike. Um, got a brand new front spoked wheel. He said he went to Lester's, let the Lester wheels, the first, like right when he bought it, but yeah, so he has all these special tools from when he worked at a dealership, all these manuals and stuff from the bike, service information, um, a whole book with all the, you know, stuff. So kept track of his records, kept track of his records really religiously. It's kind of crazy to see this. So this is some a trip that he went on. You can see the dates there how many miles he put on, uh, how many gallons of gas he put in, the cost for the total tank of gas, how much it was per gallon, so super cheap. And he was keeping track of his miles per gallon um, in one fill up, three fill ups, and 10 fill up averages. So this thing was getting really good gas mileage, right around 50 miles per gallon. So that's kind of crazy. And then however many miles he put on during this trip as his so this thing is kind of has a really good records and it's from the first owner, you know. So I have the engine out over here. He had a deeper oil pan, I guess. So he has these kind of shims in there. Um, but engine, everything's super nice. Everything spins super freely. The pistons look super good for having 102,000 miles on it. Um, cylinders don't look that bad for having high mileage, a little bit of rust on top. But, uh, you know, if there's anything here that you see that you want, I got all, all sorts of new old stock. I got a brand new 
new old stock gauge cluster with zero miles on it. So this will be making its way onto the bike. I got a whole box full of stuff. I got brand new old stock, uh, three new old stock exhaust systems, um, master cylinders, gauges, a whole headlight bucket, all new old stock. Um, so my, my plan here is going to be to totally strip the frame down. I'm gonna powder coat the frame, take apart the motor, rebuild the transmission, rebuild the rear drive, replace every nut, washer, seal, everything. So everything will be all brand new and whole brand new charging system, all brand new electronics. You can see here that the front alternator is just totally gone. The, di oops. the diode board is just totally, totally shot. Um, I'll attach a picture of what that looked like right here. Like what the heck? Just Horrible, horrible. Tons of a mice nest. I'll show a video too of that mouse. Here's that video of that mouse. Come on, buddy. You can give it now. I'll have the swing arm powder coated, um, transmission rear drive all rebuilt. This fender painted has twin spark, has twin spark ignition. Um, but I also have a brand new, brand new in the box twin spark ignition kit. If anyone wants to buy that, just make an offer. Um, I have all sorts of stuff. So if there's anything you need, I got a multiple gas tanks. I got three gas tanks. This is the one that came on it. Yeah, but two more. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff. So this will be a little project on the channel. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, kind of follow the process, be sure to click the notification bell and, uh, Stay tuned.